Whereas the arithmetic progression is defined by the first term and then a common difference, geometric progressions start with the first term, also labelled A, and progress according to the common ratio, R, multiplying each subsequent term by this number. Let's create a variable called sequence and initialize it with the value of A. Then, similarly to what we did with the arithmetic progression, we can create a loop that combines a new term to the sequence each time. And the value will be the ith term currently in the sequence, that's what the square brackets indicates, multiplied by r. Note that the length of the sequence it creates will actually be one above n, since we go around the loop n times and add n values to the first term. If we wanted to fix this, where it says 4i in 1 to n, we could exchange the n with n minus 1 in brackets. With the algorithm steps coded for defining the sequence, we can then plot it to get a feel for what's happening, as well as look at what the values are. If r is greater than 1, the sequence increases like a skateboard ramp. If it's equal to 1, we'll just be multiplying by 1 each time, producing the same number, so we'll have this flat line. And values less than 1 but greater than 0, like a half, result in these downward ramps. What do you think would happen if the ratio is negative? In this case, the sequence alternates between positive and negative terms, going below and above the value of 0, but increasing in magnitude. Or if it's a value between 0 and negative 1, we'll get this fluctuating sequence that gets closer and closer to 0. To see this zero line a little easier, we can add the command AB line 0, 0, which adds a line to the graph with zero intercept and zero slope. Once again, we can wrap this up in a function if we want to as well. Or we could also create a function that just calculates the nth term. And when we input the values for the chessboard problem, starting at 1, doubling each time. The 64th square alone would contain about 9 times 10 to the 18 grains of rice, which is 9 million million million, which is a lot. <laughs>